most people born with a uterus will expect to start having a period sometime during puberty. Periods can happen to people who are girls, women, or people who are transgender, non-binary, or gender diverse. Periods start at different ages for different people. That could be between nine years old or 15, but for most, it's around 12 or 13. Periods are a big change. This means a person might be able to become pregnant. To understand periods, you will need to know about the reproductive system, which includes the vagina, cervix, uterus, fallopian tubes, and ovaries. From puberty, around once a month, a special lining called the endometrium builds up inside the uterus. It grows just in case a pregnancy starts. Ovaries have egg cells in them. A mature egg is released from one of the ovaries. This is called ovulation. For the next 24 hours, the egg moves along the fallopian tube. If it joins with a sperm at this time, a pregnancy could start. If no pregnancy starts, the egg dissolves. The lining isn't needed if there is no pregnancy, so the uterus squeezes and pushes the endometrium out through the vagina. This can look like blood, and it is called a period. It might take three to seven days and nights for the period blood to finish coming out. The bleeding usually happens around every 28 days, but might not be regular for the first year or two. Period blood might be pink, red, brown, thick or mucus-like. There might be lots or a little amount. People choose different things to catch the period blood, so they can keep doing all the things they need to do. Some options are pads, tampons, period underwear, menstrual cups or discs. It's common to notice breast soreness, some tiredness, pimples, mood swings, low energy and some cramping or discomfort. Most of the time, people can keep doing all their usual activities. A person should see a doctor if they have period symptoms that stop them from doing their usual activities. Symptoms like strong pain in the belly, back, bottom or vulva, very heavy bleeding, strong emotions, or if they notice unexpected changes to their period. Periods are an expected part of puberty for lots of people. There are common aspects to periods, but everybody's experience will be different. There are lots of ways to get help and information.